¿A dónde os vais? Ah. ¿En serio? No sabes, vamos a Portugal. ¿Qué dices? Pero es que ahora... tenemos reserva para cenar. ¿Dónde vais a cenar? Para el vídeo del año hemos decidido hacer un World Tour. Pero es mucho más que Valencia. Queremos enseñar Barcelona, Lisboa y Madrid para que todo el mundo entienda realmente qué es Carmencita, quién es Carmencita, que no soy solo yo. ¿Qué es ¿Estás, ¿Estás ready? Estoy ready. ¿Por qué haces que no con la cabeza? <risa> ¡Taxi! We are not in Valencia, as you may see. And the reason why we are not in Valencia is because we wanted to show you the real international soul that we have. We took a few days off to be able to visit all our friends and family between Portugal and Spain to show you what really Carmencita is about. It's not a lab in Valencia with some cool people doing cool things. It's about sharing this idea of how film photography should be like and bringing as many people in as we can. So here we are, Carmen de Lisboa, first project outside Valencia that we ever did, and it's the perfect place to start this yearly recap. So let's go. Okay, so you ask a lot of questions and we will try to answer them all. First question, are you planning on conquering Europe and taking all over the laps of the neighborhood countries? Short answer, yes. Real answer is we have a lot of friends uh, all around Europe, also photographers that expect us to go. The idea is just to reach those places where we feel we can make a meaningful impact in the community. If there is the will from the team, the budget, and we find the perfect place and location, why not? Okay, next one. What are the differences between your labs? That's a very good question, and I think perhaps Tiago is best to answer this question. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Albert. So, yeah, uh, we share the, basically the same philosophy in all Carmen Citas, so, which is to deliver the best possible uh, scans and prints. And the human factor is also very important on all Carmen Citas. Each lab has their unique flavor, basically. There's also some services that we don't do it here, but that's the good thing of having like a big family, is that we can do those services on, in this case, Valencia Lab, uh, like ECN2 and uh, other services. Uh, and so that's one plus of having like a big family. Next question. Will film ever be cheaper again? To be honest, I hope so. To be honest, I don't think so. I think film overall will keep this pricing or even increasing because we all experiment inflation. But I think uh, the market is diversifying and we will see more and more cheaper options, either re-spooled film or cheaper emulsions. I think the, the more film that there is, the better. The downside is the price, but the upside is the industry is taking film photography a bit more seriously than it was. And what about Phoenix film? That's a very cool question. Um, because this popped up in the internet a few weeks ago. It has some upsides and it has a lot of downsides. It's quite complicated to answer this in a very short question. We are preparing a blog post that you can check in carmencitafilmlab.com. Overall, it has a positive impact in the community because it brings the hype, but I think the results that this film is able to provide now are not at the level that we expect, especially for this price range. So we need to see and wait and please check our blog. Ha! I've seen way too many skate videos lately. Will Negative Lab Pro ever take over these machines? To be honest, I don't think so. We had a very long video talking with Nico from Nico Photography Show. I think it's a great tool to empower people to develop and scan at home, but that software and the setups are not designed to replace this. You have to think about it. At a commercial level, it's impossible to work at that speed. The dust is cleaned automatically, the color is adjusted automatically. It really has to be something thought specifically for the needs of a lab, which can be 200 rolls a day, 300 rolls a day. It's a great tool, but these were really, really well-built machines to last, honestly. Like, we treat them so bad and they perform so good. Okay, next one. What brand of sweets will earn me the preferential treatment that I deserve? Let's ask Pedro for this one. Pedro, what brand of sweets uh, should people send? The one and only Tony's Choco Lonely. You've heard it. 
Okay, we are done in Lisboa. It's time to go to Barcelona. Uh, we have the phone, keys, a wallet, and the natas. Let's go. So we arrived in Barcelona. This is the second location we opened. It's been three years this February. It's been really, really nice to be able to work in the city where I'm from, bringing what we do in a, in a local level. So let's keep answering some questions. How do you get into the best of? Actually, this year we just published the book of the best of. It's something we've been doing since 2014. The beauty of this is that there is no bias. Everybody can join and get published. It's up to our editors. They are selecting those frames that either the light is amazing, the subject is amazing, or the moment is amazing. Out of the 12 months, we make the best of the year, which is very complicated because we have to leave a lot of amazing pictures out, but it's absolutely up to the team. What do you think when you process intimate or sexual related images? This happens fairly often, but to be honest, we are so focused in correcting the color, making sure everything is consistent and through hundreds and hundreds of images every day, that we really don't pay too much attention to it. The team probably pays more attention to having the skin tone of that person uh, that looks natural than rather what's going on in the, in the picture. Do you guys use references when editing color? I think this could be fun that Mikel answers this one. He's wearing the developing suit now, but he's also scanning and editing. So yeah, sure, we use uh, the references sent by our clients. We have an internal platform where we share the preferences between the team, the scan team, the editing team. So if you have any color preferences, contrast preferences, anything related to your scans, you can send us your images and we will try to match them as, as close as possible. How many cookies food related items have been stolen by Albert in the lifetime of the lab? For sure, this one is impossible to say. There's no way to know how many cookies has Albert eaten this, this year. I have to say, they are left alone in the table. No name, no label. I work very long hours. I may or may have not stolen one, two or three during a lifetime. So for the next one, I think we will have to move upstairs. It goes like this. Will you ever do handprints? Come with me. Yes, we do handprints. It's something we started offering one year ago, but more uh, local based in Barcelona, since the fashion scene kind of asked for it. At the beginning, I thought it was crazy. I have only seen it with some friends in Japan doing it, and I thought it was insane. Even a single image takes half an hour, at least, to kind of get where you want it to. It's funny because after more than 10 years working with film, I've never seen images this way so often. And it's shifting a bit what I see and the way I think about images now. It takes a lot of trust also in the printer, in the company that is doing it. But I believe at this point in time, we are in a place where we can confidently offer it to anybody, anyone in the world. This is not very friendly for my height, but here is. Whoa, let's unplug the extraction. Of course, we will not hear anything. So, one of the last questions. Do you guys accept internships? Yes, we do. We actually have a, a program for internships. We take one person at a time, at one location at a time. We, we never overlap because it takes about 250 hours from the team to train somebody to the level that they can be self-sufficient and working at the lab. So if you are interested, we always collaborate with some educational entity, either an institute, a university, and yeah, just send your info over or ask for it by email and we will reply. One of the questions we get every now and then is like, why don't you hire me? And the truth is we cannot hire everyone. Uh, we are 30 people at the moment and we really try to keep a compromise with everybody that, that comes to the lab. Either training 
or improving their work skills. If you are very interested, just keep sending your CV and we will try to reach you when a new position comes in. So that's all. Madrid is waiting for us. Uh, it's been so fun to see the team in Barcelona. I enjoy it so much every time I come. And we hope to see you there. It's a completely different place and I'm sure you'll love it. So see you in a bit. We are in Madrid. This is the last location we were able to open and we couldn't be happier. It's been a lot of blood, sweat and tears, literally blood, uh, but it's been an amazing result so far. This comes from Madrid. They ask, how did the collaboration with La Peliculera came to be? If you can deal with your enemy, better join it. And to be honest, we are not enemies with almost anybody. Especially with La Peliculera, we are very good friends. We couldn't do anything earlier because we were not based in the city and they really need fast turnaround times for their customers. So we supply the lab service for them. I think they are doing amazing things for the community. They've always been pushing analog and we are great friends. Let's talk about cameras. Will you reopen the Carmencita repair service? We would love to, but repairs have always been very complicated. We used to rely on a technician. Uh, he was retired already and sadly he passed away. So since then we were not able to find anybody that could help us reliably with the service. So pretty much we always delegated to someone else. Are you concerned about the sustainability of film? Yes, we are, but this is a quite complex matter. Uh, it would be really difficult to answer fairly to a question like this in 20 seconds, so I'm not gonna do it. That's why we are preparing a page dedicated to that, where you can see all the friction points sustainability-wise that we have at the lab and what we are doing or what we believe other labs should be doing or even more what we are planning to do. Shipping, for example, is a huge part and that's why when we work with shipping companies like DHL, we usually go for their sustainable packages like Go Green, for example, compensating for 70% of the emissions. So it's little steps we can do and we will soon publish more information about this. Okay, the roll is finished. Let's wrap this up. And there is one more thing I want to show you. We are done. I think we tried to show you everything, but there is one little thing we were able to get. It makes no sense. It's completely irrational love, but we totally need it. It is an analog photo booth. It was kind of a miracle that we were able to get it. It's a friend of a friend that was super kind. So I think there is no better ending for this than taking a photo with it. We feel this is gonna be a very exciting year for the film photography community. We hope to see you in Barcelona, Lisboa, or anywhere in between. Hasta pronto.